It's a question of foreign policy put to local voters. An attempt to take an official poll on Peoria's stance toward federal funding in Israel failed tonight. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Rampold. Thanks for joining us at 10. While the question won't be on the official ballot, hundreds from both sides of the issue weighing in packing council tonight. Madison Porter was there. She joins us with the latest. Madison. Tyler and Janice, it was a simple majority rules of 93 to 67 in tonight's meeting that ultimately will keep this question off the November ballot. And it came after more than an hour of public comment in a tense atmosphere. The people of Peoria were presented a non-binding advisory question at Tuesday night's town meeting where everyone got a say. It asked in part if the United States should stop giving military funding to Israel, a question proposed and supported by Peoria for Palestine. We cannot turn a blind eye to their suffering, nor can we remain complicit in the perpetuation of their oppression through our silence in the name of normalcy. If it had made it onto the ballot, the question wouldn't have any governing power. People in favor of the question wanted to see it on the ballot to hear the general public's opinion, saying if it weren't for a referendum like this, the government might not hear their voices. Regardless of how you view things or what you think, it's not about picking sides. It's life or death. On the other hand, those opposed to seeing the question on November's ballot say it's not something to consider locally. Contact your U.S. House of Representatives, contact your U.S. Senators, and tell them yourselves. Several people took issue with how the question was worded, saying, quote, Israel's global recognition as an apartheid regime with a track record of human rights violations elicit a specific reply. This is no business being in Peoria. This is not the kind of thing we want. If this said, like some of you said, we want peace, I think we'd all say yes. Over 150 people weighed in on the matter, including some city officials, and decided 93 to 67 to keep the question off the ballot. The voting public did approve an advisory question on ranked choice voting. You can find more about that with this story on 25newsnow.com. Tyler.